I'm tired of political circle jerks. I'm tired of continually talking about subjects that I don't really know that much about, I haven't studied enough, and I talk about as if I actually know something about it. And I know sometimes know very little about those things, and I'm, I'm tired of, of doing that sort of thing. You know, I mean, as time goes on, the more I realize that I don't know, right? Um, it's just how it goes. I'm tired of all these arguments that are between the extremes of survival of the fittest on one side and equality of outcome on the other side. I'm tired of arguing the same things over and over again with people who have no intention on reevaluating their positions. I'm really tired of Republicans falsely claiming that their values revolve around empathy. I mean, they don't say it directly, but they're like, uh, oh, we're, we're the good guys. We're the ones who care. And it's just like, no, no, you're not. You're, you're the ones who put uh, greed up on a pedestal. It's the best thing ever. It's the bestest. Now, I understand there are, there can be good things that come out of greed, but is it really greed? You know, is someone just wanting a roof over their head and they're, they're, they're wanting their basic needs? Is that greed? You know, when I had argued that quite a while back, someone had uh, asked me that and, and, and it was a good argument, you know, is that really greed or is it just trying to make ends meet you know i'm tired of democrats falsely claiming that their values revolve around logic and science and everything educated right oh we're so educated even if they're not if you just use the right buzzwords it makes you sound educated so you can pretend right i'm tired of seeing both sides get worse and worse as time goes on I'm tired of being one that eggs on this division. I, I don't want to egg it on. I'd like to be able to find some way to diffuse that sort of thing. I don't think that's really possible, but, you know, I can at least try to focus on other things. Everyone has the ability to obsess. But I'm tired of mainstream media. I'm tired of supposedly independent media. I'm tired of listening to people who are only in it for the money. Especially the people who peddle, you know, homeopathy and other garbage on the side, you know. They're, they're willing to, or maybe not even on the side, they just, just peddle homeopathy crap. It's just like, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, I'm going to listen to what you say when you're, you're pushing that sort of thing. Some collagen, everyone? I'm tired of movies that treat us like we're 12, which is 99% of movies. I'm tired of cop shows. I'm tired of crime shows where all the computers always have an interface that looks like the menuing you find in a first-person shooter game. And then whenever anything changes on the screen, you hear these little sounds, right? Because they think people are too stupid to understand, you know, how a normal program works or something. I don't know. There's, there's some sort of weird theatrics thing to it, you know? I, I'm tired of those shows. Because that kind of theatrics they do on everything. I'm tired of Stephen Colbert, and I'm tired of Tucker Carlson. I'm tired of hearing about radical college curriculum. I'm tired of hearing about some new woke ideology that students are promoting. I'm tired of hearing about really stupid seminars that people have to watch but are easy to just sit through, you know? Yeah, you don't like what's, what's being said, so what? It's not going to... It's not like it's going to convert you or something. You know, just go through the stupid uh, seminar, listen to how terrible you are for whatever purpose, and and go on. I mean, it, it's, I mean, what we should be thinking about is better workplace conditions, better pay, um, better benefits, that sort of thing. But no, no, let's focus on this woke shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's dumb, but, you know, they're not going to convert you with their propaganda, so... I'm tired of listening to people whine about the decline of Christian values. And they don't normally word it that way. They just say, oh, we're on a decline. And people basically saying, oh, we're going to be replaced. Yeah, get that shit out of my face. As I've said before, not being on top doesn't mean you're on the bottom. Okay, it's not this either or thing. Okay, 
No one's going to tell you you're not allowed to be a Christian. You just can't smear it in people's faces and make them feel bad for not believing what you believe. And yes, this same thing should apply to any religion. I'm tired of the fact that so many people still have to worry about police brutality. I'm tired of the very, very privileged acting as though they, they only have as much privilege as a homeless person under a bridge. You know, or arguments that are close to that, right? I'm tired of both sides trying to claim that they care about class issues. You know, the right wing will say they're for the working class, and the left will say they're for the poor. But neither side really seemed to want to do much of anything about the very poor and disadvantaged. I mean, people who are on the left, who aren't Democrats, because Democrats aren't really on the left, yeah, some of them want to do something about it. But I certainly don't see people on the right wanting to do anything about it. <laughs> people on the right are, I, I'm just, I mean, not, not on the right or not the Republicans, ne neither part, neither, if, if anything on the right, they don't want to do anything about it. And when you say, well, so you want people to suffer? No, no, I don't want people to suffer. So what do you want to do about it? Well, just because I don't want to do anything about it doesn't mean I want them to suffer. Thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers, everyone. So at least the Democrats will make it sound like they care about the very poor with virtue signaling, but uh, they don't really want to do anything about it. And if they try, tried, I mean, right-wingers won't stand for it. But yeah, as I said, I'm tired of pretending that the Democrats are even remotely left-wing. You know, we, we have... <laughs> the Democrats are center-right... And then the Republicans are much further right. We, we don't really have representation of the left in the United States. And that's why, that's why it just, uh, yeah, I'm so tired of he people, right-wingers saying, oh, oh, Biden is, is, a, is a puppet to the CCP and Kamala Harris and, and Biden. They're, they're going to bring forth socialism, communism. Look out, look out, everyone. Look out, look out. Oh, shut up. Just shut up. You're, you're so stupid. Maybe you're not stupid. Maybe I shouldn't say you're stupid. But your argument is, is very ignorant, to, to say the least. Okay? And I've been very ignorant at many points, too. And I have stated some things out of ignorance. That's why in the beginning of this video, I talked about, hey, I, I don't want to talk about things. You know, I'm tired of talking about things that... I don't really know enough about to have a strong opinion. It, it, it's just, why have a strong opinion about something that you don't know much about? You, know, you can have an opinion, sure, but, but a strong opinion? You know, and and I've, 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 been, I've done that for a long time, and I, I don't want to be that way anymore, because it's, uh, it's certainly not coming at things from an open-minded uh, viewpoint where I could absorb a different view easier, right? So, but yeah, I'm tired of pretending that the Democrats are even remotely left-wing. I'm tired of this fake right-left paradigm that we have in this country. It's, it's not really right-left. As I said, it's like right and uh, center-right. Great, yeah, that's great. And especially when you, you, you compare us to the rest of the world. Yeah. I'm tired of feeling like I can't be around anyone because of the quarantines. You know what I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to two weeks after I get my second jab. So I'm hoping it'll be by like the 14th, somewhere between the 14th and the 16th, when, when I'll be able to feel more free and go to places and be around people and feel more human again. How about you?